What do you think you need to learn in Python to become a successful data analyst? What exactly are the skills that you need to know to deliver a project independently in Python? Do you need to learn millions of fancy Python syntax like tuples, arrays, dictionaries, plots, different types of charts, or you need to focus only on the key skills that can enable you to deliver a project end to end? Remember, if you know millions of fancy items but you cannot deliver a project independently in Python, then you are actually just 2 out of 10. If you can deliver a project independently in Python, then you are 8 out of 10. Now, what it takes to deliver a project independently in Python? In this video, I am going to tell you the secrets of learning Python in just one week by mastering 6 most important concepts in Python which a data analyst must know to deliver a project independently in Python. For those who are new to our channel, please subscribe to Scientist Express and if you like the content that we share, please hit the like icon. Scientist Express is also conducting fast track Python courses every month. So in case you want to join, feel free to contact us on the given numbers below. So let's start the video. The first thing that you need to learn is pandas subset. This is equivalent to filter that we use in Excel. If you cannot filter from a given data set or if you cannot subset, you really cannot do much. No analysis will be possible. Second, you will need to get the value out and store it in the form of an integer. So getting values from subset data frames and storing in integer is the second skill that you will need to learn. Once you can do that, you can actually do any kind of mathematical calculations like multiplication, sales growth last month to this month. Everything will be easy. Now, once you're there, you need to automate this piece of code. Say for example, you have computed for one product sales growth last month compared to this month, but you have to do it for 10,000 products. Then it's not smart to keep doing that, keep copying the same code 10,000 times. We definitely need a smarter way here. Here you can use loop. Now to use a loop, you need to learn three skills or three pillars, which will become your third, fourth and fifth Python skills. So the third thing that you need to learn is list for data structure. Most of the complicated Python tasks will get resolved using a list. Next, you need to learn how to run a for loop because only using a for loop, you can automate this part of the code. And the fifth thing that you need to learn is conditioning for loop using an if statement. Once you know all these three skills, then you are free to automate this code. Now, the sixth pillar that you need to learn is function. Once you are done with automating the code, what we can do is we can put the base code into a function. And similarly, we can create lots of other functions for different derivations like separate functions for sales growth, profit growth, churn drop, etc. And we run that using a for loop for 10,000 products and we store the output in a list. That's the complete automation. And if you can do up to here, you are quite good. You will definitely be able to deliver a project independently in Python. So start learning. In case you have any comments or any doubts, please feel free to put it in the comment section. We will be happy to help.